hey guys welcome to my channel my name is matilda so one thing about me i always keep my promises and today i'm here with a sunscreen for my oily skin girls so guys today i'm going to be reviewing the skin aqua uv super moisture gel i'm going to give you guys all the details about the sunscreens the pros the cons everything about the sunscreen we're going to be talking about it in this video so if you would like to learn about this sunscreen right here then keep on watching in our usual fashion, I'm going to start off with the details about the sunscreen. This sunscreen is a chemical sunscreen. It's actually from a Japanese brand. And it has an SPF of 50. I got it for 7,500 Naira. You know it's going to differ depending on the vendor in Nigeria. But you can also get it on Amazon for 18.86 cents. $18.86. Last time I checked the website on Amazon, they are actually having a discount, so you should definitely check it out. I'm going to leave the link in my description box below. So now, what are the claims about the sunscreens? As I have said before, this is a Japanese brand, meaning that everything about this sunscreen is written in Japanese, so I don't understand anything. And I'm pretty sure when you read it, you're not going to understand anything either. So because I love you guys, I decided to do the translation for you, and I'll leave it on the screen so you can know what is written on the bottle and the packet it came in so let's read the claims the first thing is it is super waterproof okay we're going to be testing all of this out the second claim is that it is suitable as a makeup base all right it feels like water it is fragrance free it is coloring free mineral oil free paraben free and can be removed with soap so let's not do too much okay let's go straight into the application now you know that when you're applying your sunscreen you should be using the two finger method so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to apply the sunscreen and i'll also reapply it and we'll also test if it's waterproof in one side and we'll test it if it is good as a makeup base on the other side the first thing you will notice when you open this sunscreen is that can you hear it's like water it's like it's water that is inside the bottle so we'll apply the two finger method this sunscreen is very runny if you can see it has a liquidy texture so we'll just apply that all over the first thing i noticed when i opened this sunscreen and applied it on my face is that it has a very strong alcohol scent which we'll talk about later on but let me just apply the sunscreen this is the finish of the sunscreen right here so before i go on to reapply the sunscreen let me give you guys my thoughts so far on this sunscreen when you apply the skin aqua sunscreen the first thing you will notice is a really strong alcohol smell but that smell goes in one two three seconds like i counted it after three seconds you're not going to smell anything again i presume it's because alcohol is the second ingredient in this sunscreen so i'm sure that is why it has a very strong alcohol smell as soon as you apply it but the smell evaporates in three seconds literally now guys this finish is really good it doesn't have an oily finish whatsoever the claim of it feeling like water guys yes this sunscreen feels like water this has to be the let me not even talk too much i will talk about more in the pros but so far this is the finish of the sunscreen the sunscreen is not sticky at all no i'm not feeling any stickiness and no peeling whatsoever so that's good now let's do the second reapplication let's assume that we have gone about our day four hours has elapsed and we want to reapply the sunscreen does the sunscreen reapply really good so let's try it out remember we're going to be doing the two finger method if you want to be applying sunscreen this is the accurate amount this is the best amount of sunscreen you should be applying on two fingers this is where you get the best protection so we're doing it once again this is how the sunscreen looks after a second application now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to test how this sunscreen looks under makeup obviously i'm not going to do a full face of makeup i'm just going to apply my regular face powder because that's what i would do on a normal day if i'm going out i would just apply a little powder to mattify my face a bit although my face is not looking oily at all so we're just gonna do it for the sake of the video i'll take in my powder puff 
and just tap it on this is with makeup this is without makeup so it takes makeup really well my face looks really smooth and there's no peeling whatsoever so the next claim of this sunscreen is that they claim it's waterproof so you guessed it right i'm gonna be applying water not sponsored <laughs> ever come and sponsor me <laughs> so we're gonna be testing it out with water to see if it's actually waterproof but this waterproof test you guys are going to be the one to tell me in the comment section if it is truly waterproof i'll just splash water on my face Can you guys see? Let's apply another also. Here is it. Now, guys, is it waterproof? Let me know in the comment section. That is your assignment for today. Let me know if this sunscreen is waterproof in the comment section below so i'll let this dry down and i'll apply powder and we'll see if the powder would work with it with, even with water on top i went on to use tissue to just dab out the water from my face because i was tired of waiting and this is how my face looks let me see if if i rub it what's gonna happen and here's how my face looks after rubbing it in I think I've done enough testing and I have tested all the claims and now I know my final thoughts on the Skin Aqua UV Super Moisture Gel. So we're gonna start out with the pros. Obviously, it starts with the good and we'll do the bad. Now, the first pro of this sunscreen is that it doesn't leave a white cast. I mean, I talked about this sunscreen in my video where I talked about five sunscreens without white cast. I'll leave it up here. I think it was six I ended up talking about. Well, this sunscreen was featured in that video and this sunscreen is a highly rated sunscreen among so many people. This sunscreen is so overhyped, especially on TikTok. Everyone likes this sunscreen, although there's a few sets of people that they don't really like the sunscreen, but majority of people like this sunscreen so the next pro about this sunscreen is that this sunscreen is lightweight when they said that this sunscreen feels like water they were not joking this has to be the lightest weight if that's a word the lightest weight sunscreen i've ever tried the best lightweight sunscreen i've ever tried it has to be the essence tree hyaluronic acid watery sun gel but guys this sunscreen is even more lightweight than that sunscreen this sunscreen feels like water like you're applying water on your skin it doesn't feel thick in any way it's really runny as you could see when i applied it like this sunscreen is lightweight i can't even overemphasize how lightweight this sunscreen is and i absolutely love it because when a sunscreen is lightweight it makes when you're applying it easy and it makes you want to apply sunscreen every day right so i like that about the sunscreen the next pro about the sunscreen is that this sunscreen is great for oily skin because it dries down to a non-greasy finish a non-oily finish it does not have an oily finish whatsoever although it's not matte like matte as in you know when you apply a matte powder the way your face will look it's not like that but it's not oily whatsoever if you have oily skin you're really going to like the sunscreen a lot because the sunscreens i've been trying in previous videos they always leave like a glowy finish this doesn't leave a glowy finish now the next pro about the sunscreen i feel like if i don't talk about this pro it will look like all my other videos that i just like complaining for no reason but this sunscreen is the 110 grams which is approximately 110 mil wow now that is something i really appreciate about the sunscreen if you know if you've been watching my other sunscreen videos i always complain about how small those sunscreens are 50 ml 50 ml 50 ml but this one is 110 ml which is twice the size of those sunscreens so i am really happy about that because we are supposed to be applying sunscreen multiple times in a day every single day and sunscreens, skincare can be quite expensive. So the least these companies can do is make the product a little bit bigger. And for that, the Skin Aqua, thank you.
thank you so much thank you for doing it for us so this sunscreen the price point differs from wherever you want to buy it but i think it's a fair price point it costs 7500 although it could be cheaper but <laughs> for what you're getting i think it's worth it but price is relative it might be expensive for you it might be cheap for you it's relative so it's not my place to tell you anything about the price the next pro about the skin aqua super moisture gel is that it does not have fragrance it claims to not have fragrance and i appreciate the fact that it doesn't have any fragrance because fragrance is something that can cause irritation for people with extremely sensitive skin although when i use fragrance in skincare i don't really notice any irritation for me but for people some people fragrance might not work for them so when you have the sunscreen without fragrance it means it's going to attend to the needs of a wide range of people so i like that although it doesn't have fragrance when you want to apply the first thing you smell is the alcohol smell which brings me to the cons of this sunscreen now the first con of this sunscreen is that it has this alcohol smell which I don't it, it's not really a bother for me because after three seconds that smell goes so it's really nothing it's not like a deal breaker for me that oh my god it has alcohol smell so i'm not gonna use this sunscreen no it's just something to note that hey this sunscreen has a strong alcohol smell eternal alcohol is the second ingredient in this sunscreen so if alcohol sensitizes your skin if you have extremely sensitive skin and you notice that anytime there's alcohol that's eternal in your skincare your skin always reacts to it it's something you should know but to me it's really not a con for me because i will use it regardless of the smell of alcohol because the smell stays for like three seconds after that you're not gonna smell it like right now i can't even smell it anymore so it's definitely 50 50 just something you should know so i will leave it in the cons you understand although alcohols are not all bad alcohols actually have roles to play in skincare they help with preserving the skincare and they have different functions in skincare not all alcohols are bad it's just something you should know as part of the con the next con about the skin aqua sunscreen is that it's not very moisturizing for my oily skin girls you this one's crazy enough for you it's enough i mean it has hyaluronic acid and some other hydrating ingredients it's enough for you if you have oily skin but if you have dry skin it's not going to satisfy your moisture needs mm -mm. If you want to apply this sunscreen and you have dry skin i would advise you to apply moisturizer before you apply the sunscreen because me when i apply my sunscreen sunscreens like the essentry sunscreen and the apio sunblock which i talked about in my previous videos those sunscreens they are really hydrating and moisturizing so when i apply those sunscreens i don't really need moisturizer but if you have a dry skin when you apply the sunscreen always apply moisturizer before you apply the sunscreen because when it comes to moisture it won't do much for you now let's talk about my final thoughts about the skin aqua uv super moisture gel spf 50 pa plus <sighs> plus that's a mouthful <laughs> i really like this sunscreen this sunscreen has a really good amount it's going to last you a while depending on how you use sunscreen the sunscreen is great great for oily skin if you have oily skin you're going to really enjoy this sunscreen it's really nice no oily finish whatsoever i mean i've applied makeup on my face which is powder and no oil whatsoever i like it me personally i like the sunscreen for my skin because i have oily skin so when i see a sunscreen that doesn't leave that glowy finish i mean it's not every day you want to be looking glowy right some days you just want to look matte so this sunscreen will give you that i also appreciate the amount of the sunscreen i mean 110 grams i appreciate it a lot i really hope other sunscreen brands emulate this and even make it even bigger because it is always going to be very appreciated amongst we we skincare junkies we're gonna love it gonna be really happy if we see sunscreens with large amounts the sunscreen is really light with it. the fact that it feels like water I like it so basically all the claims about the sunscreen were fulfilled 
they didn't lie it feels like water i appreciate it so much so when i'm applying it on screen it will make me so happy and it will be easy for me you understand so guys thank you so much for watching if you want to get the sunscreen you can check out the link in my description box you see a link to purchase the sunscreen but if you want me to purchase the sunscreen and any other skincare products for you just send me a message on instagram and i would source any skincare product you're looking for if you want a one-on-one -on -one skincare consultation you want to know what products to use for your skin you want to know where your skincare problems are coming from you just want to ask anything in depth about skincare with me one-on-one -on -one. i'm going to leave a link in my description box so you can book an appointment with me so we can have a chat for 30 minutes straight on I'll give you all the tips and tricks. I'm just going to open my head for you and point to you. <laughs> okay, so guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see me outside of YouTube, you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok, all Matilda Duku. Hey, 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 guys, I can't believe this. I can't believe I forgot to wish you guys Happy New Year. <laughs> this is my first video of the new year. So if you're still here, Happy New Year, oh my god, it's 2023. What are your plans for 2023, guys? Are you guys gonna keep subscribing to my channel? Oh, just keep subscribing. I hope you would. So, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Don't go if you have dry skin. I know you're probably upset that this might not really be the best sunscreen for you. That's why I have other videos for you. I'm gonna leave a playlist of all the sunscreen I have reviewed on my channel up here. So you can definitely check it out. And I'll leave another video up here of my Essence Tree video, which is a good sunscreen if you have dry skin. So you should definitely check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.